So we at uh, TI here at uh, Embedded World 2011, and you have some new announcements. Yes, we have just announced two new products on the DaVinci, uh, DaVinci line, which is the DM816 and the DM814 devices. So those are very powerful, right? Yes, very, very powerful. And you can see, if you speak in there very loud. Okay. And you can see on the, here, that will be the size of the module that we are promoting. Yeah. And here, that's the development goal that, you will, that we will have. On these two new devices, we'll be able to uh, run three times TDP60, as well as a DSP and a Cortex A8 device inside. Very, a lot of integration, a lot of performance, and a, str and a very strong scalability. So basically, those are the same. This is just the end, and this is uh, developing. This is, this is a development uh, tool, and this is kind of an end to uh, end customer product. It's going to be that small. Yeah. 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 Three times 1080p, 60 frames per second. Every codec, every bitrate. Yes. Like so it will be 1080p, 60 H.264, high profile. We're supporting also motion JPEG, MPEG4, and also some audio codecs like uh, G711, VP8. VP8, uh, WebM, no HTML5 no. codec, not yet. Yes. Oh yeah, there is. It's in the list. Maybe. No, we, it will be. It will be. It, it will, will be. be. Hardware decode for all that and uh, high profile for MKV files, for example. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I'm sorry, I asked too many. So, so, right here we're at, we're at the at the embedded world. And this is kind of like uh, uh, targeted at the industry, right? Yes, correct. So where will this be, for example? What kind of application? So everything about video security, video conferencing, digital signage. Um, what else can we think of? We have Think Client. We have uh, moni I mean, production line monitoring. All these type of example can be taken. Uh, so Think Client and HD video conferencing, it sounds like it could be in consumer parks too. Yes, correct. Because it will be also power, we'll have so low power devices, which will be portable, like portable medical devices, and with imaging, strong imaging, that will be also possible. And uh, you, you mentioned it has an OMAP 3 in there. Why is no OMAP 4 in there? It's not an OMAP 3 device. It's a, we have the same Cortex A8 device. Yeah. So we are taking the same technology as uh, OMAP 3, same Cortex A8, same technology node, and afterward there will be an OMAP 4, which is the next technology node that we'll intercept later. So that's just, uh, is it two different sections in TI or is it just extracting some part and putting it somewhere else or? We have the same R&D group and we're just reusing the IP like we want here. For the industrial part, we are really focusing on the cortex edge right now. So there were some devices that use uh, DaVinci uh, together, uh, like for example Arcos in France. Yes. They were using DaVinci, they called it DaVinci until a certain generation, then it went back to OMAP. So there is an overlap, like it's co everything's compatible or...? Everything is compatible in terms of code, because we, again, we're using ex exactly the same IP core, the same Cortex-A8 for, the, for this case. So we are reusing all this, it's just afterwards, where, do, where, where is matching the, bot the most in terms of power consumption versus peripherals, and that you will take more NOMAP device versus a DaVinci. So right there, you're showing some uh, playback? So here, we also, I mean, there is two different uh, 1080p60, here that means resized, down scales and everything is played from this small board here. And why is it blinking? Oh, it's just the uh, uh, Wi-Fi the files, No, the, it is the files that we're having from the uh, USB card that we are playing here. Z3 is anything? Uh, DQ is one of our partner, module partner, who is making the strong integration in very small card that you see here. There is a fan. Yes, because you need that. On the very strong power, if you want to have a very strong power, you will need, uh, you will have, by default, I mean, OMA, uh, OMAP devices, I mean, the, not the OMAP, but the ARM Cortex A8, plus the DSP, plus the HDV uh, processor, all the three combining, it will dissipate something like about 10 watts. For 10 watts, we prefer right now to have a fan. Normally, for the end application, if we are doing well, the, the uh, power dissipation distribution, no need of a fan. And uh, what is this board? Is something different or? Yes. So we are having afterwards the same compatibility between the different devices. We've got DaVinci, Integra, and uh, 
so Citara program, so here DaVinci Integra Citara, and all these are built compatible devices, as well as the OMA, we have the same Cortex devices, and we have software compatibility. And that's why here we have another one, which is breakthrough through imaging. Breakthrough? Yes, again, because we are having not only the 1080p encoding decoding, but we have also the imaging. When you're looking here, on, it's a very smooth image. When you're looking at here, the wires, there is a very low angle uh, inter, uh, interleave, interpolation that makes all the lines very, very smooth. And that's with what we're calling breakthrough in imaging. All right, and uh, those are all the park names? Yes. M18, obviously, we're doing C6A816, which is an integral 1.5 gigahertz plus a DSP, and we have the AM8. 389, which is still the same Cortex A8 that you have in, uh, on the OMAP. All of them running at 1.5 GHz, Citera, just Cortex, Integra, Cortex, Boson Arm, DaVinci, Arm, DSP, and we are adding the 3x1080p60. So, so these are the Cortex devices, right? Yes. Code names are different kinds of implementation of the DSPs in the arms and yes. stuff like that. And uh, have these been on the market for a long time? These, these two. I mean, this product. Uh, these are, I would say, product groups. This Cortex A8 yeah. that we have in here, at one point gig, this Integra Cortex A8, one point gig and DSP has been announced earlier last year in October, November timeframe. Now we are adding on top of this the graphic accelerators. If you do three times 1080p, could you also do like a, a very, very H, super high D resolution? Exactly. So when we're taking three times 1080p 60, it means the, the, the entire budget. So you can do 32 times D1, or you can do 4K by 2K type of imaging. 4K 2K. 2K. Yes. This is 4K 2K. This that can be drive up to 4K and 2K. Up to 4K, 2K. That means yeah. uh, 4K by 2K imaging at uh, lower frame rate, but 60 frame, per, uh, but yeah. in the range of 30 frames per second. Set of box, set of box type of activities. We are uh, one of the key elements that we are working on is transcoding for all the video broadcasting. How about uh, uh, Google TV? That's another possibility that we can aim. Also, the the market is really open. So you could do a, a 4K by 2K Google TV if you wanted, if Google yeah. wanted, if somebody else wanted. Exactly. All right. And uh, does that mean Texas Instruments is going to make a GLP 4K 2K soon? <laughs> we have we have some projects right now with very high definition GLPs, but not only uh, big screen, but also stereo screens with two different GLPs running concurrently, doing a wide screen, but also 3D type of screens. 4K 2K D 3D. In the future, why not? Everything is open. Alright, so you announced it now, when is it on uh, the market? Market? Available now. It has been announced. The, uh, the EVM are available. The uh, samples are available now. Just need to place the order. So, some people might think they, they need this and not the OMAP, right? Uh, because there's a reason for that. You don't need... It's different markets. Yeah. Again, OMAP is would be much more handheld devices, low power driven. But in terms of peripherals, you will not have the richness of the peripherals of DaVinci device, more rich uh, peripherals. So, but in terms of power consumption, it will be a little bit higher power consumption. Also, in terms of screens, the, the size of the screen will be much bigger on a DaVinci device versus a normal device. Here again, it's, it's depending on the market and the, any equipment that you want to attack, you will have the different uh, devices. All right, thanks a lot.